In the, uh, in the book, of course, the Nephilim in this first book are living very much in what we call the Tanakh, the, uh, the Old Testament, the Old Covenant, and uh, part of uh, what goes on there, of course, is the near uh, kinsman theme. And the question is, has uh, Miss Kurtz correctly portrayed that? And my answer would be, if Nephilim can participate uh, in that, then she has, in fact, portrayed it correctly. And I might just mention also... Uh, the other theme of the Day of Atonement. The Day of Atonement is a uh, time uh, where uh, in the Tanakh, the, the Old Testament, uh, the whole of Israel would come. Even though sacrifices would be made all year round, the whole of Israel would come and proclaim the sins uh, of the nation and uh, the sins would be forgiven. So it's a time of forgiveness. It's a time of reconciliation or a time of judgment. And it's called the Day of Judgment because for some it is a Day of Judgment. And it's called the Day of Atonement because for some it's a Day of Atonement. And you see both in the book. All right, so here's another theme that's very clear in the book. And that is um, the lead female has problems with God. Uh, she gets very, very bitter at God for the things that uh, have happened. And gets entangled with questioning Him and wondering what it's all about. But her redeeming quality is that she stays long enough for some good things to happen. And by the end of the book, uh, redemption is a very hopeful thing for her. And she thought she was abandoned. See? So she believed Ishtar. Okay? For the moment. But then things begin to unfold, and at the end, it's kind of like you can see her soul settled. You know, she's beginning to get settled. Wow. Look at that. You mean that was Thor? It's like her eyes are open to an unseen reality that's really been following her and blessing her. And she hasn't been aware of it. Maybe God's not so bad. Maybe he really loves me. Maybe there's hope for me. Uh, most of the time when God shows up, it's in thick smoke. Nobody can see him and nobody can even be in his presence. That tells you something about the eternal. That the temporal really can't take the immortal, the eternal. And so God has to reveal himself mm -hmm. slowly and gently. So I think that is, uh, that's a suggestion to stay with the program long enough to see good things happen to you. The book was very interesting in terms of developing the god and goddess uh, theme and how they really are in the film. Uh, that was fairly consistent throughout the book. I personally don't uh, buy into the false gods and goddesses uh, of, of the nations of the world being fallen angels. One of the things that I did not like, I did not like the Nephilim becoming the main story of life. Uh, god seems to be more wrapped up with the Nephilim than human beings. From my reading of uh, the Bible, of course, God is wrapped up with human beings prior primarily. Uh, that being said, the book was still enjoyable. Uh, one of the things that I think one can approach this literature with is what about the mixing of gods and goddesses? I noticed, for example, that Balaam is mixed with Ishtar. It's more normal to have uh, Marduk mixed with Ishtar, Balaam with Ashtoreth so forth and so on. It's not critical to the book, uh, but in terms of any kind of uh, historical periodic consistency, uh, that probably should have been given a little bit more attention. Uh, however, it doesn't really do that much harm uh, to the book. It is a way of explaining things in a fictional manner that stimulates the imagination. And, and to that degree, I think you're going to find people stimulated. The research was intriguing because that literature, the type of literature that uh, she chose, is intriguing. Apocalyptic literature is very intriguing to me personally, many other people. Uh, rabbinic literature, when it deals with these kinds of issues, is also very intriguing. So uh, she's picked a topic and subjects and research material that are going to be compelling uh, and a lot of fun for people to read. The camps will be pretty drawn. Uh, pretty drawn. Uh, you either believe that the Nephilim uh, are the product of angels and men, uh, or and then if you believe that in the biblical account, uh, it gets watered down through time. We really don't see much of that uh, or any of that these days. You wonder where it all went. If you believe that it was really human beings with human beings, then of course the story doesn't wash. I think in terms of a uh, fiction, uh, novel. This is a, a self-contained uh, thing. Nobody's done it before.
The, I think the book is going to be very upsetting to fundamentalists. Uh, I think that they're not going to be able to really tolerate uh, that kind of a reading. I would say that many, many evangelicals, uh, many people who even, even don't have any faith, many Jewish people, both religious and non-religious, I think, I think they're going to be fascinated with the storyline. You can't help but be fascinated with the storyline. And then others will think uh, that it's uh, too extreme, too, too far off the beaten track. And so you're going to get your percentages of people who will like it, people who didn't like it, and people who are in the middle that are a bit ambivalent. You're talking about vampires. Fundamentalist Jews and fundamentalist Christians don't like talking about vampires. You're talking about ghosts. They don't like talking about ghosts. You're talking about disembodied spirits. They don't like talking about disembodied spirits. So you have created a literature that contains within it topics that people don't like to talk about uh, who are fundamentalists in their, in their faith. Uh, so it, you're just going to have to take that kind of uh, criticism uh, as they read or, or disavow the book. You're going to have those that uh, say, don't read the book. Uh, it's full of demonic activity. It's full of uh, misinformation. Then you'll have others that say, this is a perfectly valid fictional novel. Uh, it's, it has a premise that is plausible, uh, and whether you can come to grips with it or not really will be a personal uh, matter, but it is, it's a compelling story. Character development is very good, and I think that there will be a good number of people that will pick it up and read it cover to cover. I did enjoy it.